You know how the NYPD was tracking Muslims uh, for six years? Now, remember that uh, those Muslims were not charged with any crimes. In fact, they weren't even suspected. There was no probable cause, there was no warrants. Uh, now, you're supposed to get a warrant if you track somebody, but they didn't bother to get warrants. They did this with the CIA. Ah, let's illegally spy on Muslims, who cares? They're just Muslims. And not only did they do that within New York City, try to track every Muslim there, which is an amazing project, and a tremendous waste of time, as you're about to see. Uh, but they also went outside of their jurisdiction, and they were in places like New Brunswick, New Jersey, spying in on Muslim students at Rutgers. Uh, they were found out, and we got the 911 tapes of the landlord walking in, saying, Jesus, what the hell is going on here? They were worried that it was terrorists that had set up shop. It turns out it was the NYPD. So uh, this was done by their demographics unit. Now, they, when we found out about this, they got sued by a Muslim American group, uh, understandably so, saying you're violating our rights, which they most certainly were. So during a June 28th deposition, they talked to Assistant Chief Thomas Galati about this. Now he was the guy in charge of the investigative unit. So he had some interesting things to say. First of all, look at his assumptions about how uh, guilty you are based on where you're from. He says, quote, I'm seeing Urdu, Urdu is a kind of language spoken in South Asia. I'm seeing them identify the individuals involved in it that are Pakistani. I'm using that information for me to determine that this would be a kind of place that a terrorist would be comfortable in. So if you speak Urdu and you're from Pakistan and you're in the tri-state area, you're going to get targeted because this idiot believes, well, if you're from Pakistan, you must be guilty. He continues, most Urdu speakers from that region would be of concern, so that's why it's important to me. Wait a minute, do you have any information that they did something wrong? Most of the people you tracked were Muslim Americans, American citizens, just like any other American citizen. Ah, no, but they spoke the wrong language and they came from the general region of Pakistan. Of course they're guilty, aren't they? Well, we'll get to the evidence in a second. But it's not just Pakistan. If you're from Lebanon, you also get tracked. He says, quote, that may be an indicator of, a, of possibility that that is a sympathizer to Hezbollah because southern Lebanon is dominated by Hezbollah. So, since Hezbollah is in the general region, sounds like Dick Cheney, right? We attacked Iraq because they were in the general region from which terrorists came that attacked us on 9-11. In other words, they weren't from Iraq. But they were somewhere in the Middle East. And that's the brilliant logic that the NYPD used. So, what was the results? Uh, okay, well, this guy's a defender of the program. He ran it for all these years. So, tell us about all the wonderful leads that you got that turned into terrorism cases that where we got the guys and we stopped the terrorists. Well, when asked about that during the deposition, he said, that information has come in, has not commenced an investigation. You understand what that means? Not a single investigation based on all of that information that they spent six years collecting. He goes further, quote, I never made a lead from rhetoric that came from a demographics report and I'm here since 2006. I don't recall other ones prior to my arrival. Again, that's always a possibility. I am not aware of any. Zero leads zero cases, zero real terrorists, none. So ironically, what the NYPD has proven is that you shouldn't do senseless racial profiling because you get no results. Number one, it's totally unconstitutional and illegal. Number two, it wastes a tremendous amount of our money, time and resources, which you could have spent tracking down real terrorists based on actual information, based on probable cause, based on evidence. Imagine if you took all those resources and you directed it towards people that you had information on. Because we're not telling you not to investigate terrorists, you knuckleheads, my family lives in the tri-state area. Of course we want you to protect us against terrorists. But we want you to spend your time right targeting people you actually have cause against, because it's more efficient, it'll help us, it'll keep us safer, and by the way, it's legal, constitutional, and the American way of doing things. And what the NYPD did was both dumb, inefficient, and un-American. 